This video is a basic discussion on the use of bitumen emulsions. A bitumen emulsion has bitumen droplets suspended in water. It is an alternative to cutback bitumen. Bitumen and water do not usually mix as particles repulse each other. This means they will not bond to form a solution that kerosene and bitumen do in cutback bitumen. If the two substances, bitumen and water, were combined alone, the water and bitumen would settle out as two distinct layers. However, if an emulsifier is added to a bitumen and a water mix, and the mix is thoroughly agitated, then a stable bitumen emulsion is formed. In a bitumen emulsion, as illustrated in the diagram, the fine droplets of bitumen coated by the emulsifier are suspended in water. These droplets are in the order of several micrometers in diameter and cannot be seen by the human eye. They are too small to settle by themselves and so they are suspended in the water. If left to stand, the bitumen and water will not separate out, so the mix is a stable suspension. A bitumen emulsion typically has 60 to 75 percent bitumen, with the rest of the mix being water and a small amount of emulsifier. Emulsions with a lower bitumen content have a viscosity close to water, with the viscosity increasing as the binder content increases. Above 75 percent binder, the emulsion becomes paste light and cannot be effectively spread. So how do emulsifiers work? The emulsifier molecules have a surface charge. The surface charges are electrical, electrical charges on the surface of the particle and can be positive or negative. This surface charge results in bitumen droplets repelling each other and so they do not coalesce into a larger bitumen molecule that can settle out in the water. The idea of surface charges is not something we see in everyday life as it only happens in very small particles. However, the effect is similar to magnetism. While magnetism is not the same thing as surface charges, it does have a similar effect. So let's use that example. A magnet has a north pole and a south pole. If you have two magnets, bring them close together, then they will either attract or repulse each other. They attract if one magnet has the south pole facing the north pole of the other. However, if two north poles or two south poles are facing each other, and they will repulse each other. Different poles attract while same poles re repel. Particles with different surface charges attract, that is one positive and one negative, while particles with the same surface charge repel. Emulsifiers used in bitumen emulsions are usually what's called cationic emulsifiers, so they have a positive charge. This allows the bitumen droplets to be attached to chip and aggregate particles, which is often which often have a mild electric charge, if damp. When laid, the bitumen droplets are attracted to the base course, which causes them to coalesce into larger bitumen particles. The addition of chip adds more surfaces for the bitumen droplets to accumulate on and coalesce on. In addition, when the emulsion is spread in a thin film over a wide area, the water evaporates the water evaporation increases significantly, causing the bitumen droplets to be forced together, overcoming the surface charge and allowing the bitumen droplets to combine and form a film. This process is called breaking. Breaking usually takes a few hours, and when it is complete, there is a strong layer of bitumen with chip embedded in it, with the same properties as a chip seal laid using cutback bitumen. Bitumens are an alternative to cutback bitumen and other hot mix binders. The emulsion is usually laid at a temperature around 40 to 75 degrees Celsius, which is much lower than the 150 to 180 degrees Celsius used for cutback bitumen, which makes it safer to use. The water essentially replaces cutters such as kerosene, which can harm the environment. Much less energy is also required to produce the emulsions, so emulsions are more environmentally friendly, which is why they're becoming more popular um, recently.